Hello, welcome to this new host of our video. My name is Alex. Today we're going to look at how to factory set an access point within Unify. So there's two ways to do this. You can either log into the Unify application and then do a software reset. If you've got a problem with the actual device, you need to do a physical reset on the on the hardware. We'll just we'll look at that in later in the video as well. First of all, the knowledge base article for this video will be linked in the video description below. It looks at all the steps we're going to go over in the, in this video and how all the screenshots in the legacy GUI and the new GUI as well and also the hardware reset we're going to do later as well. There's also a SSH um, method as well, which we'll look at as well. So first of all, I'm going to log into my Unify controller. It's hosted at, with Hostify. So let's go refresh that. So you can see I've got three devices on here. I've got my UAP AC Lite, a UXG Pro, and also um, a 150 watt switch. So the software method, so you open up the side panel for the AP. Go to settings and then go to forget. So what this will do, it will remove the AP from Unify and also it will factory set the access point as well. So once you press confirm, the device will be removed from Unify and then also um, it will factory set it. So we won't hit confirm, um, but that's that's what you do to do that. And then it will be ready to set up again um, like new. The other method is SSH. So if I look down on our guide here. So it says log into the Unify AP via, via SSH. Once logged in, issue this command and then the device will reset and come back. So I'll copy this command. So typ typically what I'd do is I'd, I'd use the debug console on Unify, but the, the version of Unify I'm running, the debug console isn't working on the new GUI. So what I'm going to do is go into the old GUI to do this. So that's under advanced and then legacy interface devices, I've got the AP light here, I've got a tools and then debug terminal and then open terminal and this is just an SSH connection to the AP so you issue that command which is SYS wrapper and then it says restore default and you can press return and the AP will go back to default settings but it should come back and say yeah it's been completed so yeah the connection to the AP has been dropped and we'll see that the AP will go from blue to flashing white in a minute it will remove itself from from uh, well, it won't remove itself from unify but it will be disconnected within unify as well so after about two or three well, after about one minute the ap has gone offline within unify and it's now reset and ready to be set up again so we're now going to look at the hardware reset method as well so we'll do that next next we're going to reset the unify ap using the reset button on the back of the device i've got a sim ejection tool here so go push the button in for 10 seconds Once done, the blue light will go out, and after a couple of seconds, the light should come back as white. So the light's on for white, and after a little while, the Unify AP will start flashing white to indicate that it has been reset and it's ready to be adopted. So just reset the AP light with the um, pinhole method, um, and now the because my UXG Pro and my US8150 are both on Hostify, the AC Lite AP has now um, provisioned itself, well, it's made itself available to adopt within Hostify, so that's quite a seamless process, and then we can go ahead and adopt the AP as well. You can see here, once the Unify AP has been adopted, it turns from white to blue LED, indicating that it's ready to go. Okay, now the AP has been adopted into the Hostify Unify controller, it's now ready to be used as a Wi-Fi AP, and you can manage it remotely and that sort of thing, so um, that's how you reset an AP. Uh, either using SSH, the software within Unify, or if as a last as a last resort, the hardware pinhole reset you can use as well. So hopefully that's been a useful video to learn how to reset an access point. You can find more information at our knowledge base article over at support.hostify.com. We'll link this particular one in our video description as well. There's useful screenshots on how to do each each thing, like SSH and the hardware reset as well. If you need any more assistance with any Unify or UISP devices, contact Hostify at support at hostify.com or visit our website at hostify.com and use the live chat feature as well. Okay, thank you for watching this Hostify video. My name's Alex and we'll see you again next time.